What's up, Hockey Town? Welcome to Coffee with Carly, presented by Tim Hortons, but it's more like a Swedish fika with yeah. Elmer Soderblom. How's it going, Elmer? It's good, it's good. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, uh, Soderblom is from Gothenburg, Sweden. Can yeah. you tell us what a Swedish fika is? Uh, so it's basically just a cup of coffee and maybe a cinnamon bun or something. That's sweet. All right, so I feel like that's what we're doing now. A yeah. little bit of a Swedish fika. Yeah, that's correct. You signed a contract this summer, so congratulations first off. Thank you. What does that mean to you? Uh, yeah, of course, it means the world to me. Uh, I think every player dreams uh, of signing a contract one day. And uh, yeah, now I just got to keep working hard and uh, yeah, just go for it. Three years since you've been drafted, can you believe that? Yeah, it's Has it gone by in the blink of an eye? Yeah, I mean, it's happened so fast, actually. Um, I was here like right after my draft mm -hmm. and uh, I was here in the Caesars and uh, yeah, I was just hoping for coming back someday and uh, yeah, it's, it's great to be back here. You weren't able to come to development camp, there were some travel issues. So yeah. how excited are you to be back here in Detroit now, gearing up for prospects tournament and training camp? Yeah, it's, it's amazing to be back. Uh, like I've been waiting for this the whole summer, so yeah, it's really great. I want to talk to you a little bit about your family. Uh, you're, you're one of three siblings, yeah, correct? correct? Can you tell me a little bit about your family makeup? Yeah, so it's uh, my older brother and my younger sister. Uh, so, my, so you're smack dab in the middle? Yeah, I'm in the middle. <laughs> so yeah, it's a sports family. So my mm -hmm. sister plays basketball and my brother plays hockey as well. So mm -hmm. but he's, he's actually a goalie. So. Yeah, we have we have like competing in practice with each other during the end of years, and uh, yeah, he's with the Chicago organization, uh, so he's in the U.S. as well. And uh, my little sister is in college, so she's also in the states. So we're pretty close to each other. That's awesome. Yeah. So growing up, your brother, would you take shots on your brother, and is that how you guys kind of practice growing up? Yeah, we had like a shooting area in our, in our backyard, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, he would put all his his pads and uh, gloves and everything, and uh, I would shoot some pucks at him. Usually, when you hear about brothers growing up playing hockey, you think of the younger brother who has to go in net, but he voluntarily yeah. went in net for you. Yeah, exactly. He 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 liked it, and he yeah, he was good at it. So it's perfect. One one goal and one one uh, forward. Tell me a little bit about your parents. I know your mom, Susan, she was in a TV show. Yeah, so it's like a Swedish uh, thing called Robinson. Like okay. so, they're. Just on a like a pretty much desert island, and like they're competing and doing stuff, and uh, yeah, it's, that's one winner in, at the at the end who wins like uh, half a million Swedish crowns or something. So it's it was pretty big at the time. I think it was she was the there like 19, 1997 or something. So before we was born, she was like a like a. TV. It was in a TV show. And we have to give some love to your dad, of course. Yeah, of course. So what's he like? Yeah, my dad, he's, he's actually like a physio, like a naturopath. So oh. he, actually, he actually was in Frölunda where I played. Yeah. So for the, my last two years, uh, he's been around me like on a daily basis. And yeah. Uh, yeah, he's taking care of like injuries and stuff and uh, the mas massages and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, he's, it's been great to have him uh, so close. And uh, he, has to, he has to watch me close. and. Uh, you know, he's on the bench every game mm -hmm. as well, so that's been amazing. Was he always into hockey and that's kind of how you got in, your uh, brother, or? Yeah, you can say so. He, I mean, he played hockey, okay. uh, like in Swedish Division One. Okay. so you can say he, he like brought hockey into our lives. All right, so I want to ask you about a nickname that I heard uh, your mom talk about in an interview prior. Yeah. Uh, she said that they called you the mailman growing yeah. up. Yeah. Where did that come from? I don't know actually. It's my <laughs> my mom who just called me that because I, like when we were uh, younger and played, mm -hmm. uh, I like scored pretty often. So she, yeah, you just called me the mailman. Because you reason. delivered? Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I delivered. Uh, so yeah. But I haven't heard that word like for a long, long time. Should we bring it back? No, I don't think so. <laughs> it's one of those nicknames that stays in your childhood. Yeah, it stays there. <laughs> okay. A lot of Swedish players that yeah. we have in the Detroit Red Wings organization. Does that kind of help you feel more comfortable coming here? Yeah, of course. I mean, you can basically talk Swedish every day. Yeah. So uh, it's it's comfortable to have so many Swedes around, and uh, uh, it's just uh, that kind of friendship we had, like. Most of us have known each other for a lot of years, way back in Sweden. So, yeah, it's it's really great. 
And I know uh, they're defensemen, but what's it like having some legends like Nicholas Cromwell and Lidstrom in the organization, who you can also go yeah. to and talk to, I guess, if you want to in your yeah. native language? I mean, that's super cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I've met them back in Sweden, and they're super nice guys. And uh, I think really they, they can help the organization and uh, uh, us as an individual and uh, yeah, make us better players. So I looked at your Instagram. There are a couple of things I picked out that I wanted to talk to you about. First was the picture of the World Juniors. Because mm -hmm. I want to talk about this specifically because I know you scored a very sick goal. Yeah. And that was a really cool moment for you. Walk me through that play. I'm standing in front of the net in the PP and uh, yeah, Lucas has the puck on the, like the, like the wing and he just passes it down to me. And um, I haven't like decided what to do. So when I like just receive the puck, um, I'm thinking like maybe I can do it between my legs instead mm -hmm. of like going like toward face the goalie. Yeah. So I just yeah, put it between the legs and just try to make like it go upstairs. So and it worked pretty well. So yeah, it was it's a cool moment. But oh, there's your friend. Lucas, you wanna come say hi? Turn the camera. We were talking about that awesome goal you guys had. <laughs> yeah. That's what cool. World juniors. Oh, no, yeah. it was pretty sick goal. Our, uh, we had it. Goal can't happen without an assist. Exactly. Yeah. I want to know what's going on here. So you're crawling under barbed wire. Is this kind of like an Iron Man competition? Yeah. Or what What got you into this situation? Yeah, so that was on off season. Okay. So we were basically doing uh, a lot of off, off ice practice and in the gym and stuff like that. And that was like like the ending. So it was supposed to like a- it was part I, of your training? Yeah, it was. So we did, we did it as, as a team. Wow. Uh, so kind of in you know, small groups, and uh, it was yeah, as I said, like an Ironman competition. So that's it, awesome. That, that's got to be fun too. Yeah, when we when we were done, it was fun, but yeah, when, yeah, it was pretty when it was tough. All said and done, when you uh, cleared the barbed wire, I'm sure that's yeah. when it was fun. Yeah. I'll pass, but that's yeah. cool. <laughs> I, I'm not doing that again, I think. Yeah. This other picture here, the Hockey Hall of Fame. Yeah. What was that experience like? A and B. Um, what? player do you model your game after? Is there a specific player? Um, I would say I'm, I don't think I model my, my play of anyone, but yeah. uh, I really like watching like Peter Forsberg when he played. Okay, yeah. I think he has a really unique style. Yeah. But at the same time, I think uh, you kind of want to have your own style, like mm -hmm. be unique yourself. Yeah. Uh, but if I had to like say one player, I would, I would say him. I really like him. I like asking this kind of stuff. Like, what's a fun fact about you? Um, I actually can play the guitar a little bit. So what kind of songs do you learn? Like, is there a certain genre that you... No, I'm not that good yet, but I'm, for now, just like learning like, ba like good, nice chord progressions or like some melody or stuff like that. Did you have a guitar laying around and then picked it up and decided to start learning? Um, yeah, so like I got a guitar like way back, like some Christmas present or something. Okay. I haven't used it, so... And then during the pandemic and yeah, stuff like that, I, I like, yeah, let's try it. Did you try a smoke on the water? I feel like that's usually your go-to. Yeah, I I've tried <laughs> that one. Da, da. Yeah, <laughs> and practice like nothing else matters as well, like the intro. Yeah, yeah it's pretty fun. Those like the like basic uh, uh, beginner like sure. stuff. You should start a band. Like, hey, you what can would a band be called? I don't know. Uh, you have any idea? No. Um, Maybe we should get some more guys, like someone who plays yeah, the piano else? and drums. Who do you think, who on the team or who in the organization would? I don't know. Maybe we can do a Swedish band. Yeah, we could do a Swedish yeah, band. Yeah, a Swedish I'm band. Swedish. Yeah. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it's I feel perfect. like Lucas could, could probably smack the drums pretty yeah, good. Yeah, probably. Or slap at the bass. Yeah. <laughs> we, have to, we have to see. We have to find some guys. But Elmer, I can't thank you enough for joining me for a Swedish fika yeah. slash coffee with Carly presented by Tim Hortons. I'm really excited to see what happens this season. Excited to see you in Traverse City as well. Yeah. Thanks, Carly.